Welcome back to Celtic Fans TV, outside Murrayfield here, after today's semi-final win over Hearts. Time for your Twitter reaction. Start with 67 shades of green. Following a KJ first half, I was expecting the worst. Pleasantly surprised, to say the least. Christy and Sinclair were game changers, well done to both. Solid performance from Ayer, also hail hail. Aye, we were a bit cagey in the first half. I don't know if we maybe looked a wee bit tired for Thursday night. Um, but we definitely came out in the second half and after we got the goal, we upped the tempo, we started creating a lot more chances um, and we really were like a, diff a different team in that second half. Mr C, job done. More fluent once they had to open up, obviously. Still lack a bit of invention if teams sit in and keep it tight, but a good solid performance. Good to come back from Thursday and crack on again. Aye, as I say, it's good to put Thursday behind us now. Five domestic finals in a row, which take it as you as you will. Um, with the European stuff or without it, the domestic stuff has been brilliant. Five domestic finals in a row. When you think about our semi-final and final record under previous managers, is is a fantastic achievement. Shawnee Patrick, first half negative, second half brilliant. Christy coming on changed the game in our favour. Scored a brilliant goal. Should have had two in my opinion. Sinclair played well coming on. Brilliant composure on the penalty. Sinclair had really good composure on the penalty. You could see the keeper in his ear before it, trying to delay him, but he even stalled the run up, put it away. Brilliant. Interesting to see if he can get back in the team now. We've been saying it for weeks when we see wee flashes of him that maybe this is him getting back to his best. Can he get his place in the team back and get back to that player that we know he can be? Um, Christy, excellent off the bench as well. Interesting to see him come on for Dincham and play almost in a sort of central midfield role. I don't know if that's a a solution going forward, but it was good to see him. I thought he was brilliant. Um, the goal was fantastic as well. Um, so it'll be interesting to see um, how he can do going forward. Kieran McKinnon, Sinclair, Christy, Benkovic, all class. Great team performance. Maybe got lucky with two goals, but we're still the better team. 13 goals in three games domestically. We are back. Aye. Um, as you can see, when the game opened up today in that second half, we were back to the slick passing, chance after chance. And that really has us back to our best. 13 goals in three domestic games is a great return. Um, I thought Benkovic was good again. Ayer beside him, it was good to see him back in because we thought Hendry might have come in and um, that might have been extra nerves for us. But Ayer came in, he was brilliant. Don't know if he went off injured at the end, but we'll see. And we've touched on Sinclair and Christie. Excellent. Saj at Saj Sport. Sinclair should be starting more often. Yes, he messes up sometimes, but he brings so much to the Celtic team. He set the standards so high in the first season that now he's underappreciated. Maybe. Um, there's no doubt he's had some really bad runs of form um, in the past year, 18 months. But I think we have seen in glimpses this season that it's still there. He's just not been in the team a lot. Um, we've seen again today Brendan Rodgers kept him out of the starting lineup as he did on Thursday. I mean, he was really poor when he came off the bench on Thursday, he didn't do a lot. But we've seen enough in glimpses that he's not just turned into a bad player overnight. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if he can get his place in the team back and put a string of performances together and we can banish all this talk of where as he went. You know what to do, like the video, don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next week.